Hello students, welcome to your channel Parivartan Physics. See, uh, I have uploaded detailed videos on first three chapters, electric charges and field, electric potential and capacitance and current electricity for NEET as well as KCT preparation. Many of the students after watching those videos have requested me to continue that series of videos. I mean the detailed depth conceptual as well as MCQ solving videos on the further chapters also. So I'm continuing that series. This is uh, uh, by this video, we are going to start a series of videos for NEET and KCT preparation uh, on the chapter moving charges and magnetism. In this video, as well as in the upcoming videos, we'll go on uh, studying the concepts on this chapter in depth and we'll learn many uh, shortcuts, concepts, tricks, and we'll also solve many MCQs as well as POQs on this chapter, right? Okay, in today's video, uh, we are going to study the concept of magnetic field due to current carrying conductor and we are going to solve the MCQs and we are going to see some shortcuts as well as applying the shortcuts to that uh, MCQs which we are going to solve, right? Okay, let us begin the video then. Uh, see, first, uh, we should know about Biosort's law. We know very well Biosort's law gives us an expression for magnetic field due to a current carrying element, a current element. If this is a complete wire, a wire on the small part now to go because we have to consider a small part of that wire. So a wire the magnetic field and I'm guess to that that we are going to get by bias or so. Theory then formula the other formula name in enter the circuit. See magnetic field is given by db is equal to mu naught upon 4 pi mu naught upon 4 pi i dl sin theta sin theta divided by r square. Right. This is the formula uh, which we get by bias or so magnetic field due to a current element. I means it is the current in the wire. DL means it is the length of the current element. I then now wire on small part to under the element under a complete wire all. A wire on small part now consider matter the way. element under the current. Other length now we DL under the And R means it is the distance of the point from that element. Theta is the angle between that element and the line joining the point P. Right. We know this very well by theory only. Okay, another forms of this equations will understand. See, if this is when there is no other medium, when there is air. If there is some medium present, then it will be given as either formula nam again at the mu naught into mu r divided by 4 pi i dl sin theta divided by r square. This much will be the formula. One more way, vector form of this law is given by vector form of Biosort slice mu naught upon 4 pi. I can write it as i. i is a scalar quantity. You cannot put vector notation for that. So it will be i dl vector dl cross vector r divided by r cube divided by r cube. This is vector form. Okay. How did we write this? See, we know very well dl cross r dl cross r and then the other expansion dl into Sorry, dl into r into sin theta. dl into r into sin theta. Right? So, you know, divided by r cube. So, then divided by r cube. So, then divided by r cube. So, again, I will get it as dl sin theta divided by r square only. Same, I will get dl sin theta upon r square. That is how we write the vector form of Biosort's law. <laughs> okay. This is vector form of Biosort's law. We will write one more form of Biosort's law. That is in terms of charge and velocity of the charge. Right, it can be written as mu naught upon 4 pi, mu naught upon 4 pi, and it is I dl sin theta. I will write it as Q V Q V sin theta divided by R square. Right, all these are forms of Biosort's law only. Right, these many different forms we have. Okay, mu naught upon 4 pi Q V sin theta divided by R square. How did we get that Q V? Q V We are having I dl. I means I can write it as rate of flow of charge Q by T into DL. So finally, I will get it as Q is equal to uh, Q DL divided by T. DL by T, DL by T, and the displacement by time on the other will take it as QV. So we have written it as QV sin theta, right? Okay. So we got to know about the expression of Biosort's law. Biosort's law has different forms of the other novel. Next note, right? rules to find, rules to find direction of magnetic field. How to find the direction of magnetic field? We find the direction of magnetic field due to a current carrying conductor by using a rule called as right hand thumb rule. Right hand thumb rule. 
what does right hand thumb rule tells us it tells us that uh, if you hold a wire in such a way that if your thumb should be extended your thumb should be extended so your thumb should be in the direction of current thumb should be in the direction of current remaining fingers will indicate the direction of magnetic field remaining fingers will indicate the direction of magnetic field right if this is the wire if this is the wire and if the current is flowing upwards i should hold my thumb in the direction of current and you should encircle other fingers bare fingers alone ee tara ni fold madkobeku current the direction walaga nimage thumb iddaga ee ulkid fingers namage en indicate martave these fingers will indicate magnetic field direction if thumb indicates the current the remaining four fingers will indicate the direction of the magnetic field clear igil notri we are going to apply right hand thumb rule to get the direction of magnetic field due to straight current carrying wire as well as a circular coil current carrying coil igil notri straight wire if i take a straight wire here see this is the straight wire in which current is flowing upwards current is flowing upwards correct so ee ee wire kana enadru right hand thumb rule apply madkondre direction current the direction avu thumb idkore ulkid fingers namage itra sutlu encircle agirthu correct so here we will get the magnetic field in the circular path magnetic field illa namage one circular path varadu namage magnetic field bartadre okay let us see how that magnetic field will be like this the magnetic field we will get right okay so this is the magnetic field ee direction avu namage magnetic field bartadre see if the current is in upward direction and if i apply the right hand thumb rule right hand thumb rule now apply madkondre uh, it will be like this igina current the direction oluga ee wire hidko thumb idkotinri the fingers are like this so this is the wire the fingers are like this so the fingers are entering like this a wire hindgade hogtava pass agi ee kade bartava and then they will go like this right so the current is flowing upwards i am holding the thumb in the upward direction and i am hold these four fingers are going to represent the direction of magnetic field so magnetic field il namage enter aagtadre it will enter here in this direction it will enter it will go behind the wire it will come out this side ee side namage bartadre like this the magnetic field will be right so iga when the current is flowing upwards if i ask you in which direction the magnetic field is here here the magnetic field will be in inverse direction illi namage magnetic field inverse adu anta na helthini inverse yakri why inverse because the because the fingers are entering inside the board here hengadare idella now circle tagidivi a circle half outside the board adu in half inside the board adu like this it is so at this point if the wire is here at this point the fingers are entering andre magnetic field namage enter agathadre so here the magnetic field is entering inside the board right and if i ask you on the left side of the wire left side of the wire namage magnetic field en agathadre it will be outwards magnetic field will be outwards illi namage magnetic field outwards irutadre when when the current is in upward direction right nimage elli magnetic field direction beka alle neevu aa circle ku onda tangent takondre saaka you will get the direction of the magnetic field at that point right okay so this is the straight wire magnetic field ig idha straight wire olaga if i say the current is flowing downwards ig now current the direction reverse madkonde illi upwards itte illi namage downwards idutte correct so now current the direction reverse madkonda gen aagtadre when we reverse the direction of the current at that time the magnetic field will also get reversed magnetic field the direction kuda namage en aagtadu pa andre reverse aagtadre see how it will get reversed like this see when it is downwards you apply the right hand thumb rule now ee current namage downwards ade so ee namage fingers ee tara encircle aaglik shuru aagtadu so on this side we will get the magnetic field outward fingers are coming out and on this side ee kade fingers will be entering inside the board correct so here the magnetic field is said to be outwards ille namage magnetic field outwards ada antha artha here the magnetic field is outwards and here the magnetic field is inwards right so direction of field namage reverse aithil nodri current upwards idag ille inwards idta ille outwards idta current downwards idag ille outwards adu ille namage inwards adu clear okay next circular coil see straight wire ki nu right hand thumb rule apply madbekadre ille namage thumb see here thumb indicates the direction of current for which straight wire and remaining fingers ulkide fingers en irtavalla the remaining fingers will indicate the direction of magnetic field magnetic field the direction indicate martare where in case of straight wire circular wire dage id reverse aagtadre circular wire olaga thumb indicates the direction of magnetic field thumb indicates the direction of magnetic field and the remaining fingers the remaining fingers indicate the direction of current ಅಂದ್ರೆ ನೀವು ಸರ್ಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಕಾಯಿಲ್ ಒಳಗೆ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಷನ್ ತಂಬ್ ಇಡ್ಕೋಬಾರದು ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಈ ಫಿಂಗರ್ಸ್ ನೀವು ಮಡಚ್ಕೋಬೇಕು ಅವಾಗ ತಂಬ್ ನಮಗೆ ಏನ್ ಇಂಡಿಕೇಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತದಪ್ಪ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಮ್ಯಾಗ
okay well so we'll understand that by taking a circular coil here okay let me take a circular coil so let a, this is a circular coil now right and we'll take one more this is one more circular coil okay so now we'll add a circular coil see in the first circular coil let me say the current is flowing in anti clockwise direction the current is flowing in anti clockwise direction it will be anti clockwise direction or current anti clockwise direction so you apply right hand thumb rule right hand thumb rule even our right hand thumb rule like finger say indicate what the fingers indicate the mic sorry uh, fingers indicate the current thumb indicate the magnetic field so you first current the direction of fingers in much good the remaining fingers you have to fold in the direction of current so current is like this so i'm folding my fingers in the direction of current current the direction then i fold more protein thumb extended air before thumb has to be extended only so in the direction of current when i fold my finger the thumb is indicating outwards direction so here at the center of the coil the magnetic field is said to be outwards in direction magnetic field namaga outwards ad antar right magnetic field is outwards see when the current was in straight path magnetic field was circular current yavag namaga straight path hogitte magnetic field namaga circular itte ig namaga current circular path hogada current is in circular path then what is the direction of how is the magnetic field magnetic field is along the straight line a circular coil this axis mele magnetic field adu antartha right so like this the magnetic field is there see current is in anti clockwise direction so the magnetic field is outwards magnetic field outwards andre itra artha enri now this coil or this face of the coil coil ki erad face irthavu this face and the behind the face ee face dege andre namaku field horagade baratathe field lines horagade baratathe so this face is acting like a north pole andre why because for north pole field lines will be coming out magnetic field lines for south pole field lines will be entering inside the magnet yes that's why since the magnetic field outwards this is acting like a north pole anta no consider madbeku this coil is acting like a north pole athava this face of the coil is acting like north pole if this face is acting like north pole then the behind face will be acting like a south pole that we should be knowing okay now i will reverse the direction of current in the coil okay if i reverse the direction of current in the coil see ille current namage anti clockwise itte ille current namage clockwise direction olu kadare current is in clockwise direction and uh, now the since we have reversed the direction of current magnetic field the direction will reverse aagbeku ille outwards magnetic field adare ille namage inwards magnetic field barbeku magnetic field will be inwards bekadare check maadi nodri right hand thumb rule apply maade you should fold your four fingers in the direction of current and stretch the finger in which direction the finger is now it is showing inwards right so inwards field idre the field idre the out pole tara behave martadre it acts like a south pole idu namage south pole tara behave madlikke shuru martadre right so that is all about how to find out the direction of the magnetic field by using right hand thumb rule right hand thumb rule use madko na ee tara magnetic field the direction find madbeka okay let us move on to the next concept now see uh, okay there is mcq let us understand this see illi nodri the magnetic field db due to a small element small element then the magnetic field namu yav law kodutadre which law will give us biot's law right at a distance r and carrying current i is ig illu nalku options nodidre all four options are the expressions of biot's law only but iste enri they are in the cross product form illella no cross product form ne gadavre dl cross r dl cross r we already seen this so the standard formula is namu standard formula enadre db is equal to mu not upon 4 pi mu not upon 4 pi i vector dl cross vector r divided by r cube this is what we have written already right so this is the biot's law vector form vector form da namu kelidarre illa so vector form da correct yavudu nodri idu dl cross r divided by r adu idu i square dl cross r divided by r adu which is wrong ಇದು ಐ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಡಿ ಎಲ್ ಕ್ರಾಸ್ ಆರ್ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಆರ್ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಅದ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ರಾಂಗ್ ಐ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಅಂತೂ ಬರೋದೇ ಇಲ್ರಿ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಆರ್ ಬರಂಗಿಲ್ಲ ಆರ್ ಕ್ಯೂಬ್ ಬರ್ತದೆ ಸೊ ಹಿರ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಐ ಹಿರ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಆರ್ ಕ್ಯೂಬ್ ಸೊ ಮ್ಯೂ ನಾಟ್ ಅಪಾನ್ ಫೋರ್ ಪೈ ಐ ಡಿ ಎಲ್ ಕ್ರಾಸ್ ಆರ್ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಆರ್ ಕ್ಯೂಬ್ ಸೊ ವಿಚ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ದೆನ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಡಿ ಇಸ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ರೈಟ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡರ್ಡ್ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲಾ ಆದರೆ ನಾವು ನೋಡಿದ ಕೂಡ ಗೊತ್ತಾಗಬೇಕು ಓಕೆ ಲೆಟ್ ಅಸ್ ಮೋನ್ ಟು ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಸಿ ಓಕೆ ನಾವು ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟಿಕ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಡ್ಯೂ ಟು ಸ್ಟ್ರೇಟ್ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾರಿಂಗ್ ಕಂಡಕ್ಟರ್ ರೈಟ್ so one of the important concept which you have to understand in detail so idan correct agi telkodri igille nodri i have taken a current carrying wire here straight wire adu straight wire on the finite wire adra finite wire andre ena athara length est ite anta namage gottadu so aa wire olage namage iga current is flowing upwards current namage upwards flow agutadre 
ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವಿ ವಾಂಟ್ ಅ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟಿಕ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಅಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಈ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಒಳಗೆ ನಮಗೆ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟಿಕ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಬೇಕಾಗಿತ್ತು ಈ ವೈರ್ ದ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟಿಕ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಈ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಒಳಗೆ ಎಷ್ಟು ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಹತ್ರದ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ನಂಗೆ ರೈಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ಅಪ್ಲೈ ಮಾಡಿ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಸಿ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಪ್ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ದ ಫಿಂಗರ್ಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಎಂಟ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಹೆನ್ಸ್ ದ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟಿಕ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ವರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ದ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟಿಕ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೇಟ್ ಬಿ ಇನ್ವರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟಿಕ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ನಮಗೆ ಇನ್ವರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಇರ್ತದೆ ರೀ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಓಕೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಸಿ ಲೆಟ್ ದ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ವೈಯರ್ ಪರ್ಪೆಂಡಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಪಿ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ವೈಯರ್ ಬಿ ಟೇಕನ್ ಎಸ್ ಆರ್ ಅದು ನಮಗೆ ಆರ್ ಅಂತೀರಿ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಪಿ ಸಾರಿ ಪರ್ಪೆಂಡಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಪಿ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಸ್ಟ್ರೇಟ್ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾರಿಂಗ್ ವೈರ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಆರ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಜಾಯಿನ್ ಬೋತ್ ದ ಎಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ವೈಯರ್ ಟು ದ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಪಿ ಆ ಎರಡು ಎಂಡ್ ಗಳನ್ನ ವೈರ್ ಎರಡು ಎಂಡ್ ಗಳನ್ನ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಪಿ ಜಾಯಿನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೇನೆ ರೈಟ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ದ ಲೈನ್ ಜಾಯಿನಿಂಗ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಎಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ವೈರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಸಪ್ಟೆಂಡ್ ಅನ್ ಆಂಗಲ್ ಥೀಟಾ ಒನ್ ಅಥವಾ ಲೆಟ್ ಅಸ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಇಟ್ ಅಸ್ ಅಲ್ಫಾ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಇಟ್ ಅಸ್ ಅಲ್ಫಾ ವಿಲ್ ಸಪ್ಟೆಂಡ್ ಅನ್ ಆಂಗಲ್ ಅಲ್ಫಾ ವಿತ್ ರೆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ ಟು ದ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಲೋವರ್ ಎಂಡ್ ಜಾಯಿನಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಲೈನ್ ವಿಲ್ ಸಪ್ಟೆಂಡ್ ಅನ್ ಆಂಗಲ್ ಬೀಟಾ ದಿಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಸಪ್ಟೆಂಡ್ ಅನ್ ಆಂಗಲ್ ಬೀಟಾ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ಅಲ್ಫಾ ಅಂಡ್ ಬೀಟಾ ಆರ್ ದ ಆಂಗಲ್ಸ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ದ ಲೈನ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ಜಾಯಿನಿಂಗ್ ದ ಎಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ವೈರ್ ಲೈನ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ಜಾಯಿನಿಂಗ್ ದ ಎಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ವೈರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಪರ್ಪೆಂಡಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಲೆಟ್ ದ ಆಂಗಲ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೇಟ್ ವೈರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಲೈನ್ ಜಾಯಿನಿಂಗ್ ದ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಪಿ ಬಿ ಬಿ ಟೇಕನ್ ಎಸ್ ಥೀಟಾ ಒನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಥೀಟಾ ಟು ಈ ಆಂಗಲ್ಸ್ ನಮಗೆ ಥೀಟಾ ಒನ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ಥೀಟಾ ಟು ಅಂತ ಇರಲಿ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ಒಳಗೆ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಯಾವ ಆಂಗಲ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿರ್ತಾರೆ ಅದರ ಬೇಸಿಸ್ ಮೇಲೆ ನಾವು ಫಾರ್ಮುಲಾ ಚೂಸ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ದ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟಿಕ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಅಟ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಪಿ ಇಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಎಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟಿಕ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಅಟ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಪಿ ಇಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಎಸ್ ಮ್ಯೂ ನಾಟ್ ಐ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಫೋರ್ ಪೈ ಆರ್ ಮ್ಯೂ ನಾಟ್ ಐ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಫೋರ್ ಪೈ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ದ ಬ್ರಿಕೆಟ್ ಸೈನ್ ಅಲ್ಫಾ ಸೈನ್ ಅಲ್ಫಾ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಸೈನ್ ಬೀಟಾ ರೈಟ್ ಇದು ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟಿಕ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಅಟ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಪಿ ದಿಸ್ ಮಚ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ದ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟಿಕ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಅಟ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ನೌ ವಿ ಹಾವ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ರೆಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟಿಕ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಲ್ಫಾ ಅಂಡ್ ಬೀಟಾ ಇಫ್ ಯು ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ರೆಸ್ ಇನ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಥೀಟಾ ಒನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಥೀಟಾ ಟೂ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟಿಕ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮ್ಯೂ ನಾಟ್ ಐ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಫೋರ್ ಪೈ ಆರ್ ಮ್ಯೂ ನಾಟ್ ಐ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಫೋರ್ ಪೈ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಕಾಸ್ ಥೀಟಾ ಒನ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಕಾಸ್ ಥೀಟಾ ಟೂ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಕಾಸ್ ಥೀಟಾ ಟೂ this much will be the magnetic field due to that straight current carrying wire finite wire at point p clear in itra vaga namage sub cases bartare kelavond ashtu standard cases bartave we'll discuss about that igil nodri infinite wire anta kottidare what do you mean by infinite wire infinite wire means we don't know where is the upper end also and we don't know where is the lower end also aa wire the upper end illada antano namage gottilla lower end illada antano gottilla right so we have to show the continuation like this so this is the this is the infinite wire now this is the infinite wire which we are taking correct and in this wire current i is flowing in upwards direction upwards direction from this wire at a perpendicular distance r i am taking a point here i am taking a point here let that point be p right a point namage p antiri let that point be p okay we want to write the magnetic field at this point e point olaga namage magnetic field yestad ad namage bekagithe sorry uh, at this point how much is the magnetic field that we want to know okay see if the upper end is at infinity then this straight line idhen straight line adala upper end and join madonta straight line
2 pi r this is the magnetic field at this point due to which wire due to which wire due to infinite wire correct so due to infinite wire we got the magnetic field b is equal to mu naught i divided by 2 pi r okay next we will go for uh, okay finite wire second case is finite wire finite wire in the sense finite wire means its length is known either the upper end lower end and go to the upper end and lower end are known correct so only thing is here we are saying that alpha is equal to beta alpha and beta both are equal and the condition happened it is the magnetic field and okay the current in this wire is flowing in upward direction and we want the magnetic field at this point okay the straight lines are joining both the ends since it is finite wire so the straight lines joining the point p will be subtending the angles alpha and beta alpha and beta equal equal right so what is the formula formula is b is equal to mu naught i divided by 4 pi r mu naught i divided by 4 pi r sin alpha plus sin alpha you know, na beta and beta jagadu alpha and then the other sin alpha plus sin alpha and the other it will be equal to 2 sin alpha. It will be equal to 2 sin alpha, right? Because alpha is equal to beta, right? So the 2 1s are the 2 2s and we cancel it. The magnetic field at this point will be equal to mu naught i divided by 2 pi r into sin alpha. This much will be the magnetic field due to the finite wire. Magnetic field due to infinite wire. Magnetic field due to finite wire. This is mu naught i by 2 pi r. This mu naught i by 2 pi r into sin alpha. Correct. Next, semi infinite wire. What is this semi infinite wire now? Semi infinite wire and the notary. It will be like this. One end of the wire will be at infinity. One the end wire the other one infinity One the end matter na We know one end. Right. So I want the magnetic field due to this semi infinite wire now. This semi infinite wire then magnetic field be See, it will be like this. If I, I am going to take the point exactly at one end of the wire. A wire the known end in any other upper end number got the lower end lower end number matra got the correct so current in this wire is flowing in upward direction here is the point in number point p other correct okay the distance is again r a wire the number perpendicular distance in it total is now we look at r and then the since upper end is at infinity the straight line joining the point p from that end will be parallel to that wire Yes, it will be parallel to that wire. Then how much is the angle alpha here? Alpha is 90 degree. Correct? Alpha is 90 degree. Beta is 90 degree. No, no. This is the straight line. This point is the one point. It will become like this. So, this straight line is the one point. It will become straight. So, this is straight. This is straight. This is straight. This is parallel. Parallel is the angle. It will be 0. Correct? It will be 0. Beta becomes 0 if I take this point here. Right, if we are to straight lines, this straight line with this straight line parallel, then we are to coincide actor. Then angle between them will become zero. So in this case, semi-infinite case, what is Alpha is equal to 90 degree, beta is equal to zero degree. Right? How much will be the magnetic field then? See, substitute 90 here. Sin 90, one. Sin zero, zero. Zero plus one, one. Then the magnetic field will be mu naught i divided by four pi r. So the magnetic field at this point due to semi-infinite wire is mu naught i divided by 4 pi r. This much will be the magnetic field due to the semi-infinite wire. Magnetic field due to infinite wire, finite wire, semi-infinite wire. Next, axial point of the wire. Axial point of the wire and the wire there. We are having a straight wire here, which is carrying current i. Which is carrying current i. Right? Next, if you if you take this. If you take a point along the length of the wire, this wire then length of the number, this wire then number length of the, this length million and suppose you want the point to orient it or either in front of the wire or in the direction of the current or behind the direction for alone current along the length of the wire not on the magnetic field at this point will be zero. Along the length of the wire, magnetic field will be zero, right? So remember these formulas. These are the standard cases on which we are going to solve number of MCQs now. Clear? I hope you understood this. We will go to the next concept. Okay. Next is magnetic field due to magnetic field due to an arc, current carrying arc. See, we have a blue color wire. This is part of a circle. Right? This is the arc. 
ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಸರ್ಕಲ್ ಆ ತರದ ಒಂದು ವೈರ್ ಐತಿ ಆ ವೈರ್ ಒಳಗೆ ನಮಗೆ ಐ ಅಂತ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಫ್ಲೋ ಆಗುತ್ತದೆ ದ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಫ್ಲೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ವೈರ್ ಇಸ್ ಐ ಅಂಡ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಬೋತ್ ದ ಎಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ವೈರ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಜಾಯ್ನಿಂಗ್ ದ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸರ್ಕಲ್ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸರ್ಕಲ್ ನ ಜಾಯ್ನ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ತೀನಿ ಎರಡು ಎಂಡ್ ದಿಂದ ಹೇಳ್ಕೊ ಅಂದಮೇಲೆ ದಿಸ್ ಆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ರೇಡಿಯಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸರ್ಕಲ್ ಇದು ರೇಡಿಯಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸರ್ಕಲ್ ಅಂದಂಗ್ರಿ ಇದು ಏನ್ ಆರ್ಕ್ ಅದ ಈ ಆರ್ಕ್ ಯಾವ ಸರ್ಕಲ್ ದ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಮಾಡ್ತದ ಆ ಸರ್ಕಲ್ ರೇಡಿಯಸ್ ಅಂದಂಗ್ರಿ ಬೋತ್ ದ ಎಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಆರ್ಕ್ ಆರ್ ಜಾಯ್ನ್ ಟು ದ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸರ್ಕಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೋಸ್ ಲೈನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಸಪ್ಟೆಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಅನ್ ಆಂಗಲ್ ಥೀಟಾ ಇನ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ದಮ್ ಆ ಎರಡು ಲೈನ್ಸ್ ನಡು ನಮಗೆ ಆಂಗಲ್ ಎಷ್ಟ ಅದಪ್ಪ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಥೀಟಾ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ದ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟಿಕ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಅಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಇತರದ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಹೇಳಿ ನಂಗೆ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟಿಕ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಇರೋದು ಡೈರೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಬೈ ರೈಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ತಂಬ್ ರೂಲ್ ಸಿ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ದ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಒಳಗೆ ಈ ಫಿಂಗರ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನು ಫೋಲ್ಡ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಡಿ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ದ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಒಳಗೆ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ದ ಥಂಬ್ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ವರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಹೆನ್ಸ್ ದ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟಿಕ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಅಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೇ ಟು ಬಿ ಇನ್ವರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನಮಗೆ ಇನ್ವರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟಿಕ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಅದ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಓಕೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ವಿ ವಾಂಟ್ ದ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟಿಕ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಅಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಸೊ ದ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟಿಕ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಅಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಮ್ಯೂ ನಾಟ್ ಐ ಥೀಟಾ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಫೋರ್ ಪಾಯ್ ಆರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಪಾಯ್ ಆರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟಿಕ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಡ್ಯೂ ಟು ಆನ್ ಆರ್ಕ್ ರೈಟ್ ಶಾರ್ಟ್ ಕಟ್ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲ್ ಅದ್ರಿ ನೆನ್ ಬಿಟ್ಕೊಡಿ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟಿಕ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಡ್ಯೂ ಟು ಆನ್ ಆರ್ಕ್ ರೈಟ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಥೀಟಾ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಟ್ ದ ಆಂಗಲ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ದ ಸ್ಟ್ರೇಟ್ ಲೈನ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ಜಾಯ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಬೋತ್ ದ ಎಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ಆರ್ಕ್ ಟು ದ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಆರ್ಕ್ ದ ಎರಡು ಎಂಡ್ ದಿಂದ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಜಾಯ್ನ್ ಮಾಡುವಂತ ಸ್ಟ್ರೇಟ್ ಲೈನ್ ಏನದಲ್ಲ ಆ ಸ್ಟ್ರೇಟ್ ಲೈನ್ಸ್ ನಡುವಿನ ಆಂಗಲ್ ನೀವು ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೋಬೇಕು ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ನೋಡ್ರಿ ಹಿಯರ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಸೇಂಗ್ ಕ್ವಾಡ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಓಕೆ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಮೀನ್ ಬೈ ಕ್ವಾಡ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಕ್ವಾಡ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಒನ್ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸರ್ಕಲ್ ಒನ್ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸರ್ಕಲ್ ರೈಟ್ ಕ್ವಾಡ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಒನ್ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸರ್ಕಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಕ್ವಾಡ್ರೆಂಟ್ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ಈಗ ಈ ಕ್ವಾಡ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಒಳಗೆ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಫ್ಲೋ ಆಗತ್ರಿ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಫ್ಲೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಹೌ ಮಚ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಆಂಗಲ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಆಂಗಲ್ ಇಸ್ ನೈಂಟಿ ಡಿಗ್ರಿ ಥೀಟಾ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಎಷ್ಟದ ನೈಂಟಿ ಡಿಗ್ರಿ ಕ್ವಾಡ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಆಂಗಲ್ ಎಷ್ಟಿರ್ತದ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ನೈಂಟಿ ಡಿಗ್ರಿ ನೈಂಟಿ ಡಿಗ್ರಿ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಐ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಇಟ್ ಅಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ಬೈ ಟೂ ಓಕೆ ನಾವು ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲಾ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಟ್ ದ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಆಫ್ ಪೈ ಹೌ ಮಚ್ ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟಿಕ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಬಿ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಥೀಟಾ ಜಾಗದಾಗ ಥೀಟಾ ಜಾಗದಾಗ ನಾ ಪೈ ಬೈ ಟೂ ತಗೊಂಡ್ರೆ ಟೂ ವಿಲ್ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪ್ಲೈ ಫಾರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ ಏಟ್ ಪೈ ಅಂಡ್ ಪೈ ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ಸಲ್ಡ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮ್ಯೂ ನಾಟ್ ಐ ಪೈ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಏಟ್ ಪೈ ಆರ್ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಏಟ್ ಪೈ ಆರ್ ಪೈ ಅಂಡ್ ಪೈ ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ಸಲ್ಡ್ ಸೊ ಫೈನಲಿ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟಿಕ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಮ್ಯೂ ನಾಟ್ ಐ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಏಟ್ ಆರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮಚ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟಿಕ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಡ್ಯೂ ಟು ದ ಕ್ವಾಡ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟಿಕ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಡ್ಯೂ ಟು ದ ಕ್ವಾಡ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಮ್ಯೂ ನಾಟ್ ಐ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಏಟ್ ಆರ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ನೋಡ್ರಿ ಸೆಮಿ ಸರ್ಕಲ್ ಸೆಮಿ ಸರ್ಕಲ್ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಹೆಂಗ್ ಇರ್ತದ್ರಿ ಹೌ ದ ಸೆಮಿ ಸರ್ಕಲ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಸೆಮಿ ಸರ್ಕಲ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಸೆಮಿ ಸರ್ಕಲ್ ರೈಟ್ ಸೆಮಿ ಸರ್ಕಲ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಹಾಫ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸರ್ಕಲ್
correct so we got to know about how to uh, calculate the magnetic field uh, due to quadrant semicircle as well as three quadrant this formula is directly nine but computer you at least you you more than nine per le beke arc the formula got to this is more standard. You can use the same thing. Quadrant and magnetic field mu naught i upon 8r. Semicircle and magnetic field mu naught i upon 4r. This is 3 mu naught i upon 8r. This is 8r, this is 4r. Right? Okay. We'll go to the MCQs based on these concepts now. Okay. We'll go to the illustrations now. First, let us understand how to apply these things. We'll go to the concepts now. How to apply those concepts we'll understand and then we'll solve some MCQs. Right? Okay. Here, we're having two wires. See, this is one wire there. I mean, this is one wire there. We are having two wires here. Right? So, totally, now, wire the naming is the first name. First name the wires. This is the first wire. Right? This is the first wire. This one is the second wire. And this is the third wire. This is the third wire. This is the fourth wire. So, totally, four wires are there. We want to write the magnetic field at point O. This point O is the magnetic field. Yes, that is the number. Right? Okay, so to write that magnetic field, first, now straight wire the magnetic field is different different cases in North Korea. One case is that if I take a point along the length of the wire, how much will be the magnetic field? Magnetic field will be zero, right? So, if you have a wire, the magnetic field is zero. You know, this is one of the separate wire. 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 The point is here. O is here. So, if first wire the length is the point, then the first wire the magnetic field is zero. Third wire, straight wire, is straight wire the length is the point, then the third wire the magnetic field is zero. Right? So, magnetic field due to first wire, magnetic field due to first wire and magnetic field due to third wire, these both are zero. A point of the two wires is the magnetic field. Okay. So, ignore it. Second wire is the fourth wire. What type of wires are this? Are they infinite wire or finite wire or semi-infinite wire? What kind of wire is this? Note, note counter got that. This dotted line is the end infinite. This is the end of the So, this is semi-infinite. Only one end is at infinity. This is also semi-infinite. Right? So, semi-infinite wire is the end of the second one and fourth one. So, at point O, there will be magnetic field due to second wire also, magnetic field due to fourth wire also. Yellow wire is the magnetic field, that point will get to the first. First, you check the direction. New direction check matri. B2, B2 the magnetic field due to second wire rotate. Right hand thumb rule apply matri. Thumb in the direction of current, magnetic field is outwards. E point of the number of magnetic field outwards. Fingers are indicating outwards. So, B2 is outwards. Here I will write the directions. B2 is outwards. B2 number outwards. What about B4? Magnetic field due to the fourth wire. You apply the right hand thumb rule. Current the direction of the thumb. Field lines are coming out. Right? The field lines are coming out here. Fingers are coming out. So, B4 is also outwards. B4 is also outwards. So, these both magnetic fields are in the same direction. B2 and B4 are in the same direction. We have the current wire in the same direction. The current in both the wires is the same. Here also the current is I only. And here also the current is I only. Or small I brother and capital I into the other. Okay. Let us calculate the magnetic field then. See, magnetic field at point O is equal to B2 plus B4. B2 plus B4. Why I am adding? I am adding because they both are in same direction. Here do namuk same direction na kadoor. Adhikna add mana thi. Okay. B2 mat B4 andre even andre. If here do semi infinite wire the magnetic field. Yes or no? Semi infinite wire. Semi infinite wire the magnetic field the formula entry. Semi infinite wire the magnetic field the formula mu naught i divided by 4 pi r. This is the magnetic field formula of semi infinite wire. Right? So, here let me say uh, here what they have given is uh, let me say the distance of that point. A semi infinite wire then the e distance in other line. E distance in all, let us take it as r. Right, this distance is also R and this distance is also R. You do at the same distance other, right? Both are at the same distance. So this formula is applicable for B2 also, this formula is applicable for B4 also. You do semi-infinite wires here in there, you do the same formula and apply model. So this is mu naught I, you do through the current to same other, you do through the distance to same other, mu naught I by 4 pi R plus mu naught I divided by 4 pi R. So what I will get? I will get it as 2 mu naught I divided by 4 pi r 
So here two twos are will go. We'll get it as mu naught i divided by two pi r. So this much will be the magnetic field at point O. In which direction this magnetic field will be? ये magnetic field हम क्या वो direction लगे रहता है? Since B2 and B4 both are outwards, the resultant of B2 and B4 will also be outwards. ये दो कोण हम का outwards direction होगा ना इरता दे। Even this will be an outwards direction only. Right? So we got to know how to calculate the magnetic field at this point by applying the concept we have learned. Next. Okay, here we are taking three examples now. Il more illustrations are there. We will go on solving one by one. See the first one. First one. First note name gives other kind of wire or cotter. First that all yes to different shape or wire so that give number for that. How can I know number cotter? Iga il one the wire that I will call this as wire number one. Illa mugi semi circle that I will call this as wire number two. Illa mugi one straight wire that I will call it as wire number three. Three wires are there. Correct. We want to calculate the magnetic field at this point. E point also now magnetic field calculate for that. How much is the radius of this semicircle? It is a. A anta namma kotte dar. How much is the current in this wire? Current anta namma I anta kotte dar. Current is I. Same current is flowing in all of them. Okay. Iga. Ille namma more wires are there. Among three wires, which two wires magnetic field will be zero? See, this point lies along the length of the first wire also. This point lies along the wire of Along the length of the third wire also, so magnetic field due to first wire and third wire. This is first problem, right? Magnetic field due to first wire and third wire both are equal to zero in this case. Both are equal to zero. Correct? Angar rein uli thendre. Second wire bande. Second wire yau shape padda da. It is a semicircle. Semicircle the magnetic field is three. Mu naught i divided by four r. Correct? Mu naught i divided by four r. So finally, magnetic field at point O and that one, it is magnetic field due to the second wire. Second wire is semi-circle, so magnetic field will be mu naught i divided by 4r. How much is the radius here? Radius is a, right? So mu naught i divided by 4a will be the magnetic field at this point. Write the direction of that magnetic field. Current notary, it is in this direction, like this. So current the direction of our fingers and marks going like that. Thumb is indicating inverse direction. So this magnetic field at point O is inverse. This is inverse in direction. Okay, we'll go for the second question now. Second illustration. See, second illustration. We are going to give you just wires of the notary. This is the first wire. This is going to give you up till this point. E point where we are going to give first wire. This is the second wire. This is the second wire. This is the second wire. Right? And from here, from this point on this side. So this is the third wire. At this point O. We want the magnetic field. E point वाले नमक magnetic field बेकार है। Current नोड रहे current is flowing like this. This is the I current. Current is flowing like this. E direction वाले नमक current flow आता है। Correct? Radius of this semicircle is A. Radius of this semicircle is A. If radius is A, then from this point to this point the distance is A only. From this point to this point the distance is A only. It is already given. It is a 2A. Right? ओके इग नमक है मूर वायर सदा वाले फर्स्ट वायर सेकंड वायर थर्ड वायर यार वो टाइप ऑफ वायर सदा वाले फर्स्ट वायर इस सेमी इनफाइनाइट सेमी इनफाइनाइट आके वन एंड बी नो अनदर एंड वी डोंट नो वेर इट इस डॉटेड लाइन अदर डॉटेड लाइन अदर अभी इनफिनिटी वाले एंड आते होंगे सो so, illa, there will be the magnetic field at point O due to wire 1, due to wire 2, due to wire 3. Yaw the wire the magnetic field is 0 here. Muru wires the magnetic field O point O like present it there. Correct? So, let us find out the direction of them. You can tell the directions. First, first wire the magnetic field back other name, yen madre, right hand thumb rule apply madre. Current is in this direction. Current is this direction. So, Upwards, why are the male garden of magnetic field inwards? Hunger the kill garden of magnetic field in river. It has to be outwards. So, magnetic field due to the first wire B1 in the other number outwards. Magnetic field due to the first wire B1, it is outwards. Right? Semicircle notary. Semicircle. In the direction of current, you fold these fingers, thumb will indicate the magnetic field. So, if I fold the fingers in the direction of current, magnetic field is outwards. So the magnetic field due to the semicircle is also outwards. This is our outwards. In this semi-infinite wire, the third one, current is in this direction. You apply the right hand thumb rule. Current the direction of the thumb, these fingers will indicate the magnetic field. Straight wire the case, thumb is current. These fingers indicate magnetic field. Circular wire the case, these fingers indicate the current. Thumb indicates the magnetic field. Then the clear. Okay, in this direction the current is flowing. So the magnetic field is outwards. Fingers are indicating outwards. 
ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಮೂರು ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟಿಕ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಔಟ್ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಅದಾವ್ ರೀ ಆಲ್ ತ್ರೀ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟಿಕ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಔಟ್ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ದ ಟೋಟಲ್ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟಿಕ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಟೋಟಲ್ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟಿಕ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಅಟ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಓ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಒನ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಬಿ ಟು ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಬಿ ತ್ರೀ ಎಲ್ಲ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಯಾಕೆ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ತೀನಿ ಯಾಕಂದ್ರೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ಸೇಮ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಷನ್ ದಾಗ ಅದಾವ್ರಿ ಸಪೋಸ್ ಯಾವ್ದಾರ ಒಂದು ಅಪೋಸಿಟ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಷನ್ ದಾಗ ಇತ್ತು ಈಗ ಸಪೋಸ್ ಬಿ ಟು ನಮ್ಗೆ ಇನ್ವರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಇರ್ತಿತ್ತು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ತಿಳ್ಕೊಳ್ರಿ ನಾವು ಬಿ ಟು ಇಲ್ಲ ಮೈನಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೋಬೇಕಾಗ್ತದೆ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಚೆಕ್ ದ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಚೆಕ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡು ಆಮೇಲೆ ಅದ್ರದ್ದು ಸಮ್ ಬರಿಬೇಕಾಗ್ತದೆ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಇನ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ನೋಡ್ರಿ ಬಿ ಒನ್ ಮತ್ತು ಬಿ ತ್ರೀ ಏನದಲ್ಲ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ವೈರ್ ಮತ್ತು ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ವೈರ್ ಎರಡೂ ವೈರ್ ಒಳಗೆ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಅದೆ ಎರಡೂ ವೈರ್ ದ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ನಮಗೆ ಸೇಮ್ ಅದೆ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಓದಿಂದ ಮತ್ತು ಎರಡೂ ವೈರ್ ಸೆಮಿ ಇನ್ಫೈನೈಟ್ ಅದಾವ ಸೆಮಿ ಇನ್ಫೈನೈಟ್ ವೈರ್ ದ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟಿಕ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲ ಎಷ್ಟು ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲ ಆಫ್ ಸೆಮಿ ಇನ್ಫೈನೈಟ್ ವೈರ್ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟಿಕ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸೆಮಿ ಇನ್ಫೈನೈಟ್ ವೈರ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಮ್ಯೂ ನಾಟ್ ಐ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಫೋರ್ ಪಾಯ್ ಆರ್ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ಮ್ಯೂ ನಾಟ್ ಐ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಫೋರ್ ಪಾಯ್ this much is the magnetic field due to the semi infinite wire clear so semi infinite wire the magnetic field is there in the extra magnetic field namaga first wire du irutate third wire du irutate we'll write it here okay we'll write it here it is mu not i divided by 4 pi how much is the radius radius is a athwa distance is a plus b2 amal varano b3 b3 is also same mu not i divided by 4 pi a current yaradu thara same ade distance yaradu thara same ade second wire is a semi circle semi circle the magnetic field the formula is re semi circle the magnetic field the formula is the magnetic field of the semi circle is b is equal to b is equal to mu not i divided by 4 r mu not i divided by 4 r semi circle so adanu kuda na illi baritene so let us write it here mu not i divided by 4 r okay mu not i divided by 4 r r means it is a here okay so finally we can write it like this mu not i by 4 pi a mu not i by 4 pi a i will take it as 2 mu not 2 mu not i divided by 4 pi a plus idina as it is baritini mu not i divided by 4 a and right so this will be equal to what i can take common itrogna common in tagobodu mu not i divided by 4 a common tagobodri so it will be mu not i divided by 4 a common in the bracket what i will get 2 by pi here the remaining thing is 2 by pi 2 by pi plus here the remaining thing is 1 so this much will be the magnetic field what will be the direction of this magnetic field at point o since all b1 b2 b3 are outwards this magnetic field will also be outwards idu kuda namage outwards irutadre this is also outwards correct so we are writing the formula or magnitude also we are writing and direction also we are writing let us go to the third case now okay third case so in third case again how many wires are here you just check how many wires are here there are three wires this is the first wire this is the second wire and this one is the third wire idu namage third wire adre correct so here point o olage namage magnetic field bekagidre radius of this semi circle is a that's why this will be a and this distance will also be a correct first wire the length of the a length magana namage the point adare that's why the magnetic field of the first wire will be zero modalne wire the magnetic field namage zero right i will write it here magnetic field due to the first wire is zero next note re next second wire yavudu adare semi circle third wire yavudu adare it is semi infinite wire illu nodre ಈ ಎಂಡ್ ನಮಗೆ ಈ ಕಡೆ ನಮಗೆ ಇನ್ಫಿನಿಟಿ ವರೆಗೂ ಡಾಟೆಡ್ ಲೈನ್ ತೋರಿಸಿದ್ರೆ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೆಮಿ ಇನ್ಫೈನೈಟ್ ವೈರ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ಇಷ್ಟು ನಮಗೆ ಡಿಫರೆಂಟ್ ವೈರ್ಸ್ ಇಲ್ಲದವ ಒನ್ ಟೂ ಅಂಡ್ ತ್ರೀ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಲೆಟ್ ಅಸ್ ಫೈಂಡ್ ಔಟ್ ದ ನೆಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟಿಕ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಅಟ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಓ ನಾವು ಈಗ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ವೈರ್ ಅಂತೂ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಜೀರೋ ಆಯ್ತು ರೀ ಇನ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಮತ್ತು ಥರ್ಡ್ ವೈರ್ ದ ಮಾತ್ರ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟಿಕ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇರ್ತಾವ ಅವ್ರದ್ದು ಮೊದಲು ಡೈರೆಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ನೋಡ್ಕೊಡ್ರಿ ಸೊ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ದ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಷನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಕರೆಂಟ್ and here the current is in this direction ee direction alag namu current andre correct so apply right hand thumb rule current the direction of fingers and marchu kodre magnetic field is outwards andre second wire the semi circle the magnetic field namu yav kade banta it is outwards antartha it is outwards amale semi infinite wire the magnetic field nodri idakke new right
ఫస్ట్ వైర్ లెంత్ ఫీల్డ్ జీరో అయితే సెకండ్ వైర్ మా థర్డ్ వైర్ సేమ్ డైరెక్షన్ వల్ల కదా సో విల్ రైట్ ఇట్ యాజ్ బి టూ బి టూ ప్లస్ బి త్రీ విల్ రైట్ ఇట్ యాజ్ బి టూ ప్లస్ బి త్రీ కరెక్ట్ సో బి టూ అంతంద్ర అది సెమీ సర్కల్ ది వైర్ సెమీ సర్కల్ ది ఫీల్డ్ సెమీ సర్కల్ ది ఫీల్డ్ ఎస్ట్ ఇరుతుంది మ్యూ నాట్ ఐ డివైడెడ్ బై ఫోర్ ఆర్ సో విల్ రైట్ ఇట్ యాజ్ మ్యూ నాట్ ఐ డివైడెడ్ బై ఫోర్ ఆర్ ఆర్ మీన్స్ రేడియస్ హౌ మచ్ ఇస్ ద రేడియస్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఏ రైట్ ప్లస్ ఎరడు ప్లస్ యాక్ మాడుకోవాలి బి టూ ప్లస్ బి త్రీ యాక యాకంద్ర ఎరడు సేమ్ డైరెక్షన్ దగ్గర అపోజిట్ డైరెక్షన్ దగ్గర నువ్వు బి టూ మైనస్ బి త్రీ అంతా బరుకోబేకాగుతుంది రే ఓకే నెక్స్ట్ నోడ్రి బి త్రీ సెమీ ఇన్ఫైనైట్ వైర్ సెమీ ఇన్ఫైనైట్ వైర్ ఫీల్డ్ ఎస్ట్ అది మ్యూ నాట్ ఐ డివైడెడ్ బై ఫోర్ ఫైర్ రైట్ సో విల్ రైట్ ఇట్ యాజ్ మ్యూ నాట్ ఐ డివైడెడ్ బై ఫోర్ పై ఆర్ ఆర్ మీన్స్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఏ హియర్ రైట్ వాట్ వాట్ కామన్ ఐ విల్ గెట్ ఐ విల్ గెట్ మ్యూ నాట్ ఐ డివైడెడ్ బై ఫోర్ ఏ కామన్ మ్యూ నాట్ ఐ డివైడెడ్ బై ఫోర్ ఏ కామన్ ఇన్ ద బ్రికెట్ వాట్ విల్ గెట్ వన్ డివైడెడ్ బై వన్ బై ఫైవ్ వన్ డివైడెడ్ బై వన్ బై ఫైవ్ ఆర్ వీ క్యాన్ అగైన్ సింప్లిఫై అండ్ రైట్ ఇట్ లైక్ దిస్ మ్యూ నాట్ ఐ డివైడెడ్ బై ఫోర్ ఏ ఇన్ టు ద బ్రికెట్ ఫైవ్ ప్లస్ వన్ డివైడెడ్ బై ఫైవ్ ఫైవ్ ప్లస్ వన్ డివైడెడ్ బై ఫైవ్ అంత పెరిగిపోతుంది సో దిస్ మచ్ విల్ బి ద మ్యాగ్నెటిక్ ఫీల్డ్ అట్ పాయింట్ ఓ వాట్ ఈస్ ద డైరెక్షన్ సిన్స్ బి టూ అండ్ బి త్రీ ఆర్ అవుట్ వర్డ్స్ నెట్ మ్యాగ్నెటిక్ ఫీల్డ్ విల్ ఆల్సో బి అవుట్ వర్డ్స్ ఓన్లీ ఇది కూడా నమ్మ అవుట్ వర్డ్స్ ఫీల్డ్ ఇరుతుంది రైట్ సో దిస్ ఇస్ హౌ వీ హ్యావ్ టు రైట్ ద మ్యాగ్నెటిక్ ఫీల్డ్ ఉంటుంది డిఫరెంట్ షేప్డ్ వైర్స్ క్లియర్ ఓకే విల్ గో ఫర్ సమ్ ఎంసిక్యూస్ నౌ ఓకే ఇల్లే వి హ్యావ్ టు మోర్ థింగ్స్ హియర్ సో ఇది నా కరెక్ట్ ఆగి తెలుకోబేక సి ఈ స్క్వేర్ ఇవేన్ రెగ్యులర్ పాలిగాన్స్ అదవు ఈక్విలాటరల్ ట్రాంగిల్ స్క్వేర్ పెంటగాన్ హెక్సాగాన్ ఆక్టాగాన్ సో అండ్ సో ఈక్విలాటరల్ సారీ రెగ్యులర్ పాలిగాన్స్ ఏనద ఈ రెగ్యులర్ పాలిగాన్స్ షేప్ ఒళ్ళకి ఇరువంత కరెంట్ క్యారింగ్ వైర్స్ ఇద్దరు అవుతరద మ్యాగ్నెటిక్ ఫీల్డ్ అని క్యాల్కులేట్ మాడలికే అవుతరద మ్యాగ్నెటిక్ ఫీల్డ్ అని క్యాల్కులేట్ మాడలికే I will tell you a shortcut for that. Magnetic field at the center of the regular polygon. I am clearly telling you, this is applicable only for regular polygonal, regular polygonal conductors. Regular polygonal conductors. Right? So it is mu naught n i divided by 2 pi r. Mu naught n i divided by 2 pi r into tan, tan pi by n. tan pi by n this is the shortcut formula to calculate magnetic field at the center of that regular polygon a polygon of the center of the magnetic field in calculate madli kiruvanta formula idu see ille small n indicates number of sides of the polygon number of sides of polygon number of sides of polygon right next what does uh, uh, this indicates r r indicates the radius r indicates the radius of circle radius of circle inscribed radius of circle inscribed radius of circle inscribed by all the vertices of the by all the vertices of polygon andre the meaning of this is see if i have a triangle if i have a triangle equilateral triangle joining all the vertices of the triangle i will draw a circle right so a circle then radius irutala a radius na will tagobeka r means it is the radius of that circle right okay so by using this shortcut formula we are going to write the magnetic field at the center of this square as well as at the center of this triangle ignore re ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ದ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಅನ್ನು ಜಾಯಿನ್ ಮಾಡುವಂತ ಸ್ಟ್ರೇಟ್ ಲೈನ್ ಏನು ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಇದು ಏನು ಥೀಟಾ ಅಂತ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಈ ಥೀಟಾ ನಮಗೆ ಎಷ್ಟು ಇರಬೇಕಿಲ್ಲ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ 45 ಡಿಗ್ರಿ ದಿಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ 45 ಡಿಗ್ರಿ ರೈಟ್ ಸೋ ಇದು ನಮಗೆ 2a ಆದರೆ ಈ ನೋಡಿರಿ ಇಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ 2a ಈ ಮಿಡ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಇಂದ ಹೇಳ್ಬಹುದು a ದಿಂದ b ವರೆಗೂ 2a ಇರುತ್ತೆ ರೀ a ದಿಂದ ಇದು ಏನು 0.1 ಅಂತ ಕೊಟ್ಟಾರೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿವರೆಗೂ a ಇರುತ್ತೆ ರೀ ದಿಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ a ರೈಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ a ದಿಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ a ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ವಾಂಟ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ವಿ ವಾಂಟ್ r ಫಸ್ಟ್ ನೌ r ರೇಡಿಯಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೋಬೇಕು radius and this circle which is joining all four points a b c d so this is radius now right p in the a in straight line is the radius and angle this radius we know we know the angle we know the angle is 45 degree we know the hypotenuse we know the adjacent side we know the triangle a1p a1p is the triangle we know the triangle we know the triangle is the angle 45 degree adjacent side is a we want this value of r 
सो ना इले ना इले आर कैलकुलेट मार्को बेक अदरे आई विल अप्लाई कॉस्ट फॉर दैट 45 डिग्री कॉस्ट फॉर दैट 45 डिग्री कॉस्ट 45 डिग्री इज इक्वल टू एडजेसेंट साइड डिवाइडेड बाय हाइपोटेनस नंग आर बेक आगे तेरे सो आर इज इक्वल टू ए डिवाइडेड बाय कॉस्ट 45 uh, you can just remember this uh, adjacent side divided by hypotenuse. Now, R be kaiyita. Okay, R is equal to root root two a. See, even uh, regularly theory will hear be kadri the hear thindri. And in many while solving numericals on electric charges and fields, I have told you this: if the circle side of the circle is x, then the full diagonal will be x root two. Full diagonal will be x root two. Half diagonal will be x by root two. X by root two. इधर नहीं मैं घेरे देंगे रे। ये ले side of the square है ना दे two a, two a अंतर side of square है ना। हम गेन बेका कितने? Half of the diagonal बेका कितने? Half of the diagonal अंतर अंदर है ना side of the square divided by root two. So this is divided by root two. So two by root two अंतर what this will be? This will be root two a, correct? Root two a. अच्छा बंदा तो हम का root two a. The same thing we have got. So इधर नहीं पिट कोड रे। नहीं मुझे theory problems solve मरो वाला क्लियर तो वो square में किधर और problems मारते हैं इधर मे� Right? Instead of solving like this every time, you remember this. Okay, root two a. So we got the value of r. R the value number banta r is equal to root two a. And what is the value of small n? N under number of sides square is always number of sides other four. Substitute these values in BC. Under number center again magnetic field. P again magnetic field number beka gitre. So it will be mu naught mu naught small n means it is four. Current is I divided by two pi. And how much is R? R is root 2 A. Root 2 A. Next, tan. Tan. Pi by n. n is 4. So, pi by 4 under 45 degree. 180 divided by 4 means it is 45 degree. This is 45 degree. Okay, next, I will get it as equal to. See, I will get it as equal to. This is 2 by root 2 is remaining. 2 by root 2 means it will be root 2. Root 2 mu naught i divided by pi into a pi into a how much is tan 45 degree it is 1 so magnetic field at the center of the square we got it as root 2 mu naught i root 2 mu naught i divided by pi a this much is the magnetic field at the center of the square correct next magnetic field at the center of the triangle so the triangle the angle already quoted there with 30 degree other and this side is a by 2 so how much will be the radius that we want to calculate so it will be cos 30 degree this is radius now this radius this is radius correct so cos 30 degree cos 30 degree is equal to adjacent side that is a by 2 divided by hypotenuse that is r so here i will get it as r is equal to a by 2 a by 2 cos 30 degree cos 30 degree is root 3 by 2 cos 30 degree is root 3 by 2 Correct. So this by 2 and by 2 will get cancelled. I will get it as a by root 3. a by root 3. R value is a by root 3. So we got the value of r. r is a divided by root 3. What is the value of small n here? Small n is 3. More sides are the another number of sides. Apply the formula. So magnetic field at the center of the square bp is equal to mu naught. Mu naught n. n means 3. i. Current is i divided by 2 pi r r is a by root 3 a by root 3 correct tan pi by n so 180 divided by 3 it will be tan 60 degree right tan 60 degree so what i will get i will get it like this 3 root 3 3 is root 3 mele bandre this root 3 will come up 3 root 3 mu naught i divided by 2 pi a divided by 2 pi a tan 60 degree how much will be tan 60 degree tan 60 degree will be root 3 right so root 3 into root 3 it will be 3 so 3 into 3 it will be 9 so 9 mu naught i divided by 2 pi a this much i will get how much magnetic field at the center of the triangle 9 mu naught i divided by 2 pi a correct if we have to magnetic field rotary, this magnetic field current is like this so this magnetic field will be inwards here the current is like this so this magnetic field will be outwards it outwards it is inwards it is hope you understood how to write the magnetic fields at the center of the regular polygons this is the shortcut remember the shortcut okay 
okay next uh, we'll go for the mcqs we'll see some mcqs now okay see what is the question read the question now a long straight wire carries a current of 35 ampere what is the magnitude of the field b at a point 20 centimeter current namak 35 ampere the distance namak 20 centimeter the find the magnitude of the magnetic field and the heather ya wire the which type of wire long straight wire so long straight wire ithara namak 35 ampere current the at a distance of 20 centimeter at a distance of 20 centimeter we want the magnetic field right so straight wire and the finite wire the infinite the infinite and the heather so finite wire the magnetic field the formula and mu naught i divided by 2 pi r right long straight wire and the uh, sorry infinite and the long straight wire means infinite so it is mu naught i divided by 2 pi r here uh, mu naught means it will be 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 mu naught means it is 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 and current is 35 current is 35 divided by 2 pi into r how much is the uh, distance distance is 20 centimeter so 20 centimeter another than a meter it is 20 into 10 to the power minus 2 so pi and pi 2 ones are 2 twos are will get cancelled i will get it as 2 into 35 will be 70 70 divided by 20 is the 10 to the power minus 2 3 minus 2 over 10 to the power minus 5 so 0 and 0 will get cancelled so i got 7 by 2 7 by 2 means it will be equal to 3.5 3.5 Right, so 3.5 into 10 to the power minus 5 Tesla. So this much will be the magnetic field due to the straight wire. What will be the direction of this? If the point is on the right side, it will be inwards. If the point is on the left side, it will be outwards. If the current is upwards, downwards either matlam ke direction bere bere to thele. Okay, our end direction ham kiri la, amale le direction our end kotti lokar. So which option is correct then? Option B is correct. We'll go to the next question. Okay, we have to find out the magnetic field at point P in this case, right? Uh, either need 2023 the question, last year, question, need 2023. Okay, let us understand how much is the magnetic field here. First, you name the number of wires here. Yes, the number of wires are If the semi infinite wire, this is the first wire. If the semi circle, this is the second wire. If the semi infinite wire, this is the third wire. Correct? Current node here in this wire the current is I in this direction. E semicircle will current in E direction over there. Here the current is in this direction. This is the direction of the current. Okay. So we want the magnetic field at point P. Point P is here. Point P is here. Radius is R. R and radius could be there. So there will be magnetic field due to first wire also, second wire also, third wire also. Because that point is not lying on any length of any wire yav the wire the length maga the point illa hingagi namage ella wires magnetic field irutad so first decide the direction of all these wires e wire note first wire first wire the magnetic field nu barivekadre ig idakke right hand thumb rule apply madre so current is in this direction fingers will be encircling like this like this they will be encircling fingers so behind the wire id wire namage e direction ola current adre in this direction like this right so i am folding my fingers like this Ether, ether na fold malatna. And mele magnetic field namu first wire the yaw direction over the nangri. Magnetic field of the first wire is inwards in direction. Check the magnetic field of semicircle. Semicircle will current namu hing other. It is like this. So if I hold it like this, magnetic field is outwards on nangri. So magnetic field of the second wire is outwards. Magnetic field of the second wire is outwards. Amele third wire current is in this direction. So the magnetic field will be inwards. Magnetic field namu inwards other. Right? So, magnetic field due to the third wire is inwards. We want to calculate the magnetic field at point P. So, the net magnetic field at point P now calculate. So, we got to know the directions of B1, B2 and B3. See, B1 and B2 are the magnetic fields of the semi-infinite uh, semi wires. B1 is equal to B3. These both are magnetic fields of the semi-infinite wires. Semi-infinite wire the magnetic field formula entry. Mu naught I divided by 4 pi R. This is the semi infinite wire magnetic field. B2 and the magnetic field of semicircle. Semicircle the magnetic field the formula entry mu naught i divided by 4r. Correct? Mu naught i divided by 4r. So if we are to compare matter, which magnetic field is greater? B1 or B3 is greater or B2 greater? Which is greater? See, B2 will be greater. Why? denominator number 4 pi r rather. denominator number 4r. Here we are having smaller denominator, here we are having greater denominator. 
if denominator is greater the whole value will be small if denominator is smaller the whole value will be greater andre itra artha b2 is greater than b1 and b3 annagiradu b1 matha b3 kintaru b2 namaku dodadu andre so net magnetic field at that point yav point adu which point is that o athwa p i guess it is p okay magnetic field at point p is equal to i can write it as b2 minus b1 plus b3 anta na barite b2 minus b1 plus b3 see b1 and b3 both are equal that's why i will write it as 2 b1 minus 2 b1 anta na barkotunu okay b2 what is the value of b2 it is mu not i divided by 4 illi nama capital r anta kottare so mu not i divided by 4 capital r minus 2 b1 estade b1 is mu not i divided by 4 pi capital r correct ओके व्हाट कॉमन आई विल टेक इल्ला ऑप्शंस ऑब्जर्व ಮಾಡಿ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಸಾಲ್ವ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಎಲ್ಲಾ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಹೋಗಿ ಮ್ಯೂ ನಾಟ್ ಅಪಾನ್ 4 ಐ ಮ್ಯೂ ನಾಟ್ ಐ ಅಪಾನ್ 4 ಆರ್ ಮ್ಯೂ ನಾಟ್ ಐ ಅಪಾನ್ 4 ಆರ್ ಅಂತದೆ ಸೋ ವಿ ಟೇಕ್ ಇಟ್ ಕಾಮನ್ ಮ್ಯೂ ನಾಟ್ ಐ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ 4 ಆರ್ ನ ಕಾಮನ್ ತಕೊತೀನಿ ಬ್ರಾಕೆಟ್ ಒಳಗೆ 1 minus 2 ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಪೈ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಮ್ಯೂ ನಾಟ್ ಐ ಬೈ 4 ಆರ್ ಹಿಯರ್ 2 ಬೈ ಪೈ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ರಿಮೇನಿಂಗ್ ಸೋ ದಿಸ್ ಮಚ್ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟಿಕ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟಿಕ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಇನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಈ ಬಿ 2 ಮತ್ತೆ 2 ಬಿ 1 ಇದರ ಗ್ರೇಟರ್ ಯಾವ್ದು ಬಿ 2 ಗ್ರೇಟರ್ ಅಂತ ನಾವು ಹೇಳಿದ್ವಿ so b to the direction in the b to the direction outwards so, so this has to be outwards outwards correct so which option is correct mu not i divided by 4 or 1 minus 2 pi okay 1 minus 2 by pi pointed away from the page away from the page andra outwards annagide so which option is correct option b is correct idu 1 minus 2 by pi adare idu 1 minus 2 by pi adare but this is pointed away from the page this is pointed into the page into the page andra inwards away from the page andra outwards namaku outwards anta gothundi so option b will be correct okay let us go to the next question then see next question is illi one trick kodre illi nimage one short one trick helthandre one shortcut helthandre if there is any closed loop circle irli athwa square irli right athwa triangle irli whatever ee tara namage ittu and if the current is entering at one point of this and it is exiting at one point if it is entering at one point if it is exiting at one point if the current is entering the circular loop entering the closed loop at one point and it is leaving from the another point magnetic field at the center will always be zero magnetic field at the center will always be zero yavago magnetic field zero irutadre if it is entering at one point and if it is leaving at another point but it is not like this ig namage id adare right the uh, the circular coil is like this ee tara nam coil ittu antare ee tara nam current idare ig namage magnetic field center ulu zero irangilre magnetic field will not be zero in this case the magnetic field will not be zero right if it is a square a square will give us current closed loop now form flow agutadre in this case also the at the center magnetic field will not be zero magnetic field zero avaga if it is entering that closed loop at one point and leaving at another point magnetic field will be zero so it is directly known here the option has to be zero correct okay we'll go to the next question then so illi nodri id 2012 ct k ct questions of the question of the previous year question we have to find out the magnetic field at point o now so point o alaga namaga magnetic field break ille how many wires are there you just name the number of wires wire number 1 wire number 2 wire number 3 id straight wire amale wire number 4 right amale illu one straight wire ad wire number 5 and illu one straight wire ad wire number 6 six wires are there we want magnetic field at point o e point o alaga namaga wire magnetic field break illu nodri first wire along the length of the first wire this point lies so magnetic field of first wire is zero third wire along the length of the third wire this magnetic point lies so magnetic field of third is zero fifth zero sixth zero so b1 b3 b5 b6 these all are zero b1 b3 b5 b6 all are zero equal to zero angadre ulu ithe thadre magnetic field is only due to second and fourth wire ivu eradu yav tara adavre this is a quadrant and this is a quadrant ಇವ್ ಎರಡು ಕ್ವಾಡ್ರೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಅದ ರೇಡಿಯಸ್ ಬೇರೆ ಬೇರೆ ಅದವ್ರೆ ಆರ್ ಒನ್ ಇತರದ ರೇಡಿಯಸ್ ಆರ್ ಒನ್ ಅದ ಇತರದ ರೇಡಿಯಸ್ ಆರ್ ಟು ಅದ ಚೆಕ್ ದ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ನೋಡ್ರಿ ಈ ಕ್ವಾಡ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಒಳಗೆ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ನಮಗೆ ಈ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಒಳಗೆ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಸೊ ಇಫ್ ಐ ಹೋಲ್ಡ್ ಮೈ ಇಫ್ ಐ ಅಪ್ಲೈ ರೈಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ತಮ್ ರೂಲ್ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟಿಕ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ವರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನಂಗ್ರಿ ಸೊ ಬಿ ಟು ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ವರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಬಿ ಟು ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ವರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಬಿ ಬಿ ಫೋರ್ ನೋಡ್ರಿ ಇಲ್ಲೂ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ನಮಗೆ ಈ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ so in the direction of current if i apply right hand thumb rule it is inverse only so b4 is inverse right next net magnetic field at point o we want 
ಸೊ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟಿಕ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಅಟ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಒ ಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ಎರಡೂ ಸೇಮ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಷನ್ ದಾಗ ಅದಾವ ಸೊ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಆಡ್ ದಮ್ ಬಿ ಟು ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಬಿ ಫೋರ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಆಡ್ ದಮ್ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟಿಕ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಡ್ಯೂ ಟು ಕ್ವಾಡ್ರೆಂಟ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲ ಏನದ ಮ್ಯೂ ನಾಟ್ ಐ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಏಟ್ ಆರ್ ಆದ್ರೆ ಮ್ಯೂ ನಾಟ್ ಐ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಏಟ್ ಆರ್ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟಿಕ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಡ್ಯೂ ಟು ಕ್ವಾಡ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಸೊ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ವೈರ್ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟಿಕ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ನ ಬರೀತೀನಿ ಮ್ಯೂ ನಾಟ್ ಐ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಏಟ್ ಆರ್ ಒನ್ ಯಾಕಂದ್ರೆ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ವಾಡ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಏನದ ಇತರದ ರೇಡಿಯಸ್ ಆರ್ ಒನ್ ಅಂತದ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಕ್ವಾಡ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಏನದ ನೋಡ್ರಿ ಅತರದ ರೇಡಿಯಸ್ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಆರ್ ಟು ಅಂತದ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಏಟ್ ಆರ್ ಟು ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಅದ್ರೆ ಎರಡು ತರ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಅದ ಆಡ್ ಯಾಕೆ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ತೇವೆ ಯಾಕಂದ್ರೆ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಅದ ಓಕೆ ವಾಟ್ ಕಾಮನ್ ಐ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಐ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಮ್ಯೂ ನಾಟ್ ಐ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಏಟ್ ಕಾಮನ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಬರ್ಕೆಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಒನ್ ಬಾ ಒನ್ ಬೈ ಆರ್ ಒನ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಒನ್ ಬೈ ಆರ್ ಟು ಇನ್ನ ಇಕ್ವೇಶನ್ಸ್ ನೋಡ್ಕೊಂಡು ಸಿಂಪ್ಲಿಫೈ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಡಿ ಈ ತರನೂ ಕೊಡಬಹುದು ಸಿಂಪ್ಲಿಫೈ ಮಾಡಿ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಸೊ ಸಿಂಪ್ಲಿಫೈ ಮಾಡ್ಕೋಬಹುದು ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಸ್ಟೆಪ್ ನೀವು ಇದನ್ನ ಮ್ಯೂ ನಾಟ್ ಐ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಏಟ್ ಆರ್ ಏಟ್ ಇಂಟು ದ ಬ್ರಕೆಟ್ ಆರ್ ಒನ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಆರ್ ಟು ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಆರ್ ಒನ್ ಇಂಟು ಆರ್ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ಮಚ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ದ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟಿಕ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಯಾಕೆ ಇವೆರಡು ಇನ್ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಅದಾವ್ರಿ ರೈಟ್ ದೆನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಬಿ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ರೈಟ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ರೈಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಹೌ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಸಾಲ್ವ್ ಇಟ್ ಓಕೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಫೈನ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟಿಕ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಡ್ಯೂ ಟು ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾರಿಂಗ್ ಕಂಡಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಲೈಕ್ ದ ಕಂಟೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಚಾನಲ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಫಾರ್ಗೆಟ್ ಟು ಸಬ್ಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬ್ ದ ಚಾನಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಫಾರ್ಗೆಟ್ ಟು ಶೇರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಚಾನಲ್ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಸೋ ಮಚ್ ಫಾರ್ ವಾಚಿಂಗ್ ಸಪೋರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ದ ಚಾನಲ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಕೀಪ್ ವಾಚಿಂಗ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸಪೋರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ದ ಚಾನಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ಫರ್ದರ್ ಮೋರ್ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಶಾರ್ಟ್ ಕಟ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವಿಡಿಯೋಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಫಿಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಕೀಪ್ ವಾಚಿಂಗ್ ದ ಚಾನಲ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂ ದಿಸ್ ವಿಡಿಯೋ ಸೀರೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ವೀಡಿಯೋ ರೈಟ್ ಥ